Hey guys, what's up? Um, my brother and I went thrifting again. I know, very dangerous. And uh, managed to find two Game Boy games. Now this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition. Focus. Focus. Really? Focus. Now let's zoom. Hmm. Doesn't want to focus. And I'm not entirely sure why. Yeah, whatever. Wait a minute. Hold on. I just saw something interesting in the features here. Why was it set to PAL? That's weird. Okay. Anyways. Um, yeah. So this one right here is Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition 2003. This is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy game of all time. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. Um, the only thing I really know about this one is I have a guide for it somewhere that I've never used. Because at the time when I got this, it was an RPG instead of just, you know, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with people. Something that I found to be very disappointing. <laughs> so when I did get a copy of the game, I gave it to Henry and said, here, do what you want with it. I don't want it. But I've kind of regretted that decision over the years, and have had a desire to check it out. And when my brother told me that Game Boy Advance games were $8 at a pawn shop, I knew I had to go and rescue these. As soon as he mentioned they were there. So yeah, without further ado, I want to just kind of take a look inside these, see if I need to replace a save battery or something, which I do have save batteries on standby. And if I do, get those changed, and if I don't, well, uh, hey, it'll be neat to check out a Game Boy Advance game on the inside. So, let me get my screwdriver here. Once again, in the magical toolbox. Okay. Now, Game Boy Advance games, unlike their predecessors in the Game Boy Color and regular Game Boy, actually use a tri-wing bit. So, yeah, if you're used to opening regular Game Boy games, advanced games are a whole different ballpark. And let's see, inside sacred cards. Ah, no save battery. That's a pleasant surprise. Hmm. Actually, doesn't look like it's in all that bad of shape either. It's not even all that dirty. Yeah, those contacts don't look bad at all. I mean, I'll give them a quick clean just because, you know. Have it out, may as well clean it. Am I right? Oh, gonna need more Q tips out here, I just realized. Starting to run low. But, like I said, not a huge deal. Nothing a little alcohol can't take care of. Oh, why well, don't I have my unopened one over here? That seems like a bit of a flaw in my arrangement here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I've made a recent decision to take on more projects than I can reasonably handle. So my area started to fill back up, and right after I just got it mostly emptied out, too. I'm kind of annoyed at myself for that. But, you know, such is life. And at the very least, most of this stuff will be out of here sooner than later. So I guess it's not too big of a deal to have a lot of my floor space gone for the time being. And yep, get those chips cleaned. Oh, sorry, it occurs to me you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> yep, there we go. And fun trick, you can tell if chips are legit or not by putting alcohol on them. And if the text returns and you can see what it says, then, uh, yeah, it's legit. Now, to kind of give you a tour of uh, the inside of a Game Boy Advance game, I don't know how many of you have seen these before, but this right here is your Mask ROM, and this right here is your save memory. At least, it, at least that's what I think it is based on what it says here. 256K of FRAM. Yep, that's a type of save RAM. Don't remember what type offhand. Well, FRAM, obviously, but... Oh, I think it's just flash, actually. I think that's just flash memory. But either way, yeah. There you go. 
inside of a Game Boy Advance game. Cool. So, Sacred Cards is good to go. Not a lot of work there. Cool. Now, it's been quite a while since I've seen the inside of a Worldwide Edition cart, so I'm not sure what I'm going to find, if anything. But, hey, that's part of the fun, right? So, Worldwide Edition is a game that I have been playing since like 2004 or so, maybe even 2003 when it came out. I don't think so. I don't. Th I don't think we had it that long ago. But it's one that uh, ex friends of ours had. And oh, look at that! There's a save bat. Oh, look at that save bat. That's a rarity. You don't see that very much. Although I'm kind of confused what the battery's for. Okay, yeah, nope, SRAM, not FRAM. So, yep, battery connects to that, even though it's over here instead of over there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, either way, not a big deal. Save the cleaning for when it's actually said and done. But this looks like a job for my soldering iron. There we go. I'd like to remind everybody once again that this is not a tutorial. I'm not showing you how to change the battery on this. I am merely doing it, and you guys are merely watching. This is for entertainment purposes only, and I am not liable if you damage your games. Now that we've got that out of the way, <laughs> let us continue, shall we? Stupid SD cards, get out of the way. You're not supposed to be there yet. Wait for your turn. Uh, seriously, good help is so hard to find. Uh, well, while the soldering iron heats up, I'm going to go put some water on my sponge here. Yes, it is just a kitchen sponge, but hey, it works and it's cheap. Be right back. Okay. Back, got the sponge, nice and wet. Oof. It's always good to... Okay, so soldering iron's almost there temperature-wise. This isn't one of those fancy soldering irons that you can directly control the temperature or anything. Boy, I got myself water too, because I was getting thirsty. Okay, so, there we go. So let's see. One of the other tools I like using for this a lot, I'm not seeing, where did it go? Really, where did I put it? Oh, you know what, I bet I know where it is, hang on. But it's in my big, yep, I see it. It's in my big tool container. All right, let's dig that out. I find this hook is very useful when it comes to pulling things out that would otherwise be stubborn. <laughs> Once again, this is not a how-to. This is not a tutorial. Please don't take it as such. If you do, well, you know, that's, that's kind of your fault. <laughs> Whoa! Where do you think you're going? Man, all these impatient parts today, I swear. Like, that's a thing of solder that's not even open yet when I have this one, which is, you know, getting there, to say the least. 
So let's just add a little bit of fresh solder to make it a little easier. And we'll do the same on this side right here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now then, the way I like to do this is I like to position the hook right under this tab here and kind of keep it leveraged while heating up the solder. And eventually, it should just come up. But you don't want to put too much force on it. There you go. Because you're liable to break the solder mask if you do. And if you do that, well, you're going to have a pretty tough time putting a new battery on, to say the least. There we go. One removed save battery. All right, let me put that in the battery disposal box. Now, there's a good chance that battery still worked. But, A, I have no idea who played on this before. B, I don't really care who played on this before. And C... I'd rather my saves just be good from the start. Okay, now we gotta just make sure our polarities line up, like so. And then we can put the new battery on. Fortunately, Game Boy Advance games are much easier to change the batteries on than their original and color counterparts. Mostly because there's not nearly as much room... Really? Mostly because there's not nearly as much room for things to move around. And I gotta say, it never fails to amaze me that on a really overcast and foggy day, people still somehow find it in them to mow the lawn. One of those things I can't stand about suburbia. But it is what it is. And in a way, we're all just prisoners of our own design, wherever it is we live. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay, that didn't really go on as well as I'd hoped. So I'm just going to put a little more... Whoa. What's going on there? Come on. Okay. And of course, you can make this process go a lot smoother if you use a little bit of flux, but I don't really think it's all that necessary. Yeah, it's, that's in there pretty well. A, because there's still some old flux on there that I'm just reusing, and B, because it makes a pretty big mess. <laughs> and yeah, I just don't think it's worth it at this stage. Like, maybe if it was having a harder time sticking, but this actually seems to be working all right. So, I think we'll be okay. And yeah, it's not the prettiest solder job in the world, but that'll do. That will work. Uh, sorry if that's out of focus. I have no idea why autofocus isn't working on this thing. Ay. Hmm. Actually, let me take one more look at this. Yeah, I think I should add a little bit more to the positive terminal. That's looking a little weak there. So I think I'm just going to add a tiny bit of solder to that. Just to help that. Yeah. Okay. How does that look? Answer? Actually, not too bad. Again, yeah, I've seen much prettier solder work, but for the sake of just making a contact, yeah, I think that'll work just fine. Maybe I'll add a little bit to the negative, too. Because uh, whatever, like whatever battery manufacturer Nintendo contracted for these, they made some long-legged batteries, I swear. Because these, I always have to add a bunch of extra solder to make sure they get a good connection. Perfect. Okay.
Cool. With that, I think we should be good on this. I'm just going to clean it up. Let me get a Q-tip. A little bit of alcohol. And clean off the excess there. Yeah. And then we can clean up the contacts a bit. Get it looking real good. All right, not much dirt came off of that, so that was actually pretty clean. Cool. Now, we have a newly, like a fresh save battery in our Worldwide Edition. Hoorah, hoorah, hoorah. Which is good, because I really like Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition. Um, I had started a Let's Play of it. No idea why I never finished it. Uh, I think, you know, things got in the way and just never ended up doing what I wanted to do with it. But hey, I've got another copy of it now. I, this is my second copy of it. So, hey, free to make different choices that way. So thanks for joining me for this uh, somewhat quick episode of tinkering. Join me next time where I'll work on something maybe a little more interesting rather than just a couple Game Boy cartridges. But you'll have to tune in to find out, so ha! See you next time!